What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. DJ Lowstacks here and finally today we're going to be talking about the Sennheiser XSWD wireless transmitter and receiver set. That's coming up next. I've been talking about this for a couple weeks now. I've used it, I've put it through its paces, and I love this setup, guys. Sennheiser did not send me this, no one sent me this. I bought this with my hard earned money for $299 off of Amazon. Link below, yes, it's affiliate link. Buy it, help me out, help me support this channel. But I would not tell you guys about a product that I didn't truly believe in. And I really believe in this one, guys. Uh, let me tell you just a little bit about it real quick. So some of the basic specs are, so it says it has an up to 250 foot range. I've tested it to about 150 feet with zero issues. Now for basic math guys, that's about 50 yards. If you're pushing this sucker past 50 yards, you're gonna be at some sort of big outdoor event where you probably should be using something a little more powerful. Uh, than, than this sucker anyway. But for your basic wedding ceremony, reception, cocktail hour, that type of stuff, unless you're in a massive venue that's, I mean, I've never been in a venue that's 50 yards long. So this thing definitely pushes out to that 50, 50 yard range, no problems, no dropouts, no nothing. Sounds perfectly crystal clear. Uh, battery life on this, it says it's about five hours. I haven't tested that because I haven't needed to. So the longest I've ran it for is a ceremony and a cocktail hour, which lasted, I had the system on for about two hours and uh, it wasn't even beeping at me, telling me that the battery was low or anything like that. Uh, that brings me actually to the next point. Let me bust these suckers out for you. So I'm actually, the one thing that I don't like is they don't come in any sort of a case. So this is actually a, a Peak Designs camera strap case that I'm using, but it just so happens to work perfectly to hold two of these suckers. So they're pretty simple here. Uh, one goes into the back of your mixer or the through of your um, speaker. The other goes into your microphone or your speaker that you're trying to make wireless. Now to turn them on, all you have to do is hold down the power buttons on both of them. They automatically sync together. Once both lights turn green, you know you're good to go. Now, one thing that I did find, uh, first off on the battery life, the way that works, people are complaining about there not being a battery indicator, there is. Once they start to go low, it will periodically flash red. So the more often that it flashes red, the lower the battery. I believe uh, it begins every four seconds it'll flash red, and it increases from there. At four seconds, I believe you are at 15% battery life left, um, and then from there on it just continues to go down. But like I said, a five hours battery life, I don't think you'll be running into that issue. If you're running this wirelessly for at gigs for longer than five hours, uh, you better be making a ton of money. Uh, but another thing, another cool feature on this is, say you have this plugged into a wired mic, which is actually how I've been running it. Uh, I take this really inexpensive $30 digital reference Guitar Center mic, I plug this sucker into the back of it, and then I plug this one into the back of my JBL EN1 Pro. Well, one thing that you notice about this is there's no buttons, no mute, no nothing. Uh, granted, yes, you could just turn down the master volume on your mixer to turn this down, but say you already have it EQ'd and everything like that, you have your volume set, you don't really wanna mess with it. What you can do, tap this little button one time, it turns yellow. It mutes it. You can mute it from the handset, right there, or you can mute and unmute from the receiver side. So it's perfect. You can mute it from either end. So say me standing next to my, my mixer, I want to mute the sucker. I reach down onto my JBL EN1 Pro, mute it. You don't have to worry about wind noise or anything like that. Speaker comes up to do their speech. All I gotta do, tap the button, boom, it's unmuted, good to go. This thing I really think is like, as far as the DJ, you know, DJ products that I've bought in the last few years, this is probably my favorite. They're super light, they're super awesome, uh, and I have no complaints whatsoever. I mean, they're like the best things in sliced bread in my opinion. Uh, that's why I keep ranting and raving about them. I've used them a few times so far and no problems whatsoever. Now people are probably wondering, well why don't you just use your lav packs? Which, you totally could. You can achieve the same exact thing with this setup right here, but the problem is, 
it's much bigger. You gotta either Velcro or clip these G3 packs onto something. Uh, you gotta run a cable out of the end of it. I mean, yes, this does have a built-in battery indicator. It does have more channels that it runs off of and all that. I do not know for sure uh, what channel these are set to or how it does that or if, it's, if it scans or anything like that. That's something that I definitely need to do more research on is do these scan on the turn on or are they just set to one specific channel? I don't know. Another thing that I have noticed with this, though, is there's zero. I mean zero, absolutely zero latency, which latency, if you're not familiar with it, is delay. There's no delay on this. Uh, I had this playing for a ceremony, so I had music playing through my main speakers, and then I had this sucker 150 feet away. It was completely in sync. It sounded perfect and crystal clear, crystal clear audio. But, all right guys, enough of me rambling on and on about these Sennheiser wireless dongles. Uh, just try them out for yourself, guys. Uh, for the price, 300 bucks for the set, uh, I'm actually, don't tell my girlfriend, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to order another set of these because having two wireless speakers would just be awesome. You could run two wireless mics, just, I can just, in my mind, think of all the applications I could use these for, and uh, I'm absolutely in love. Another quick thing, so Pioneer DDJ1000 SRT just came out. Awesome, awesome, awesome controller. I've been wanting to buy a controller for a while, and I almost pulled the trigger on that, but I held off. And uh, let me tell you why. So, like anything, when something new comes out, people start unloading their old stuff so they can get some cash flow to buy the new product. And uh, I actually picked up this SX2 for a fraction of the cost of the 1000 SRT. Now, if you want the brand new shiny spaceship, yeah, you can go do that. Or you can be like me, bargain shop on Facebook Marketplace, and get one of these for a steal of a deal. Alright guys, I will catch you in the next one. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. If you've used this Sennheiser wireless set, if you'd like to pick it up, I'll leave a, com or a link down to that uh, right in the uh, description. The first thing listed there is going to be this, this Sennheiser set. Uh, please, if you do decide you want to purchase, purchase through my link. Uh, it will help my channel out substantially. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.